hello and welcome to my youtube channel where i simplify tech and in this video today i'll be showing you how to add a default image when your original image is not requested successfully your image may not be requested successfully because of a broken link um, maybe because of a network or it could just be something so i'll be showing how to add a default image here and what i'll be showing today can be applied to react to angular view to any framework but i'll just be using vanilla javascript and html to achieve this so as we can see in this ui we can see an image is broken here in the code base here we can see this is of course a broken link so how do we add a default image when such a case happens so javascript emits the error event when a resource is not requested successfully so we can use that event to update the src attributes to something of our choice so how do we do this <coughs> first off let's get the image tag which is um image and as you can see this is the id image here and that's what i'm passing here okay this should actually be an image then we're going to add an event listener and we would listen to the error event and then we can use the callback with this our event to update so event.targets would target this image tag and then we can update the src to be this so this is uh, an image from my website and we'll go back to the ui when we refresh we can see this Im this default image has been applied now there is more so let's say we also pass a wrong image url here or let's say it is um it is not requested successfully again when we go back here and we refresh we can see that a loop is happening because the error event is triggered continuously as the image is not requested so how do we stop this and ensure that the error event is only called once then we have to change our code and we're going to do it differently so we're going to use this method and we call the on error event so on this error event we have this um, function and right here we'll do the same thing event.target.src equals to this image but the second thing we'll do differently is we're going to make sure this is null so this means when the on error event is triggered once we call this callback function and after updating this we're going to make sure that this is null so it doesn't call the event again back in our ui we can see everything works well when we break this image and we go back then we can see that loop no longer happens so that is how to apply a default image i've shown you how to take advantage of the event the error event to add a default image and how to also avoid potential loops and if you found this video helpful kindly like kindly share it and also subscribe